All right, let's look at example two. In Thai's English class, 70% of the students completed an essay by the due date. There are 30 students in Thai's English class. How many completed the essay by the due date? So for this one, we're going to start again with our line, which represents the students in Thai's class, which in our problem tells us that is 30 students. And if we have all of those students, that equals 100%. So this time we're looking for 70%, but 70% is not something I can chunk this into because if I even did it by two, and I had 70 and 70, that would be more than my 100. So I need to find another way to chunk this. Well, counting by tens might be a good idea because these both share a factor of 10. So I'm going to take my line and I'm going to break it up into 10 as equal as possible boxes or units. All right, so each one of these boxes represents 10%. So we need to figure out how many students one of these boxes would represent. So if I have 30 students and I break that into 10 boxes, do 30 divided by 10, and we get three students. So I know that each one of these boxes represents three students. All right, so these boxes we call units because it doesn't matter if it's centimeters or meters or inches or feet or percents or whatever we're talking about, we can just call it a unit. So we're going to say one unit is three students. Now to find 70%, we need to find seven of those boxes. So we would be looking for... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. This 70% right here. So we want 7 units. So we're going to take our 3 students per unit times our 7, which equals a total of 21 students. 